the sun may be shining now, but it is very wet underfoot. We have had a rain shower and it is the summertime. It is. And it just happens to be that today is the day of our summer drinks party. And I'm afraid the weather is just one of the pitfalls of the British summer. And also that our roadworks taking place outside is rather noisy here. So I'm afraid we're just going to have to take things indoors. So let's start the show. Preparations are well underway for the party. Paul has been slaving in the kitchen all morning, haven't you, dear? I need a big stiff drink. <laughs> well, there will be big stiff drinks to come later in this episode, but let's see what has been prepared so far. That over there, the thing in the arm um, grey. Oh yes, this is for the salsa? No, that's for the quesadilla. Oh, for quesadilla. And so there is chopped pineapple. So okay. a friend of ours is a vegetarian. So I can't, so I'm not going to be adding it directly into that um, mixture. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to prepare all of this. I'm going to put this into the oven. I'm not going to really marinate it too much, but I'm just going to heat it in our convection oven and, um, have it all prepared and then put it all together with the tortilla wraps that I have somewhere out there. So I already made these um, vegetables. So there's um, red onion, there's red and yellow bell peppers and um, these closed cup mushrooms. So all I have to do is kind of make the sauce um, for it. I don't know whether I should be using these wine tomatoes. No, I think these are better just to have eaten, I think. Um, for the sauce, um, we're going to be using some of these cans of tomato that we bought. Those of us in the UK will know where I bought this from. And I'll be using this tomato puree to thicken up the sauce. I might add a little bit of these chili peppers <laughs> to spice things up. Okay. I think this is hot enough now. Because I think this is too little just for all that sauce. So I, I'm going to need another one. I hate this. I forgot to add something. Uh, I I normally like to add this Italian seasoning. So I added a little water just to get some more of the liquid from there, I suppose. And does this need to sort of Reduce? Yeah. yeah. Is that where this comes in? Well, this is going to make it a little thicker. So at the moment, it's a little watery and no one wants too much water. So this is kind of like a thickening agent. Mixed roast veg. So this all goes together? Yeah. And then when it comes to the quesadilla wraps, how do you heat those? Well, I'm going to do it on a griddle. Ah, I've used that before, I believe. So I think this is pretty much done now. Um, I think I just need to put the chicken into the oven. I think I'll leave this um, brewing for maybe a good 10 minutes with the lid on. And then I actually, I think I would just reheat this when we come down to eating because veg doesn't really need that much cooking to be fair. So I've added a little bit more of the paste. So I don't really like um, thin type of um, sauce when it comes to the quesadilla. I bet you I made too much sauce. 
What are you bashing, Paul? This is really bad. This ice is like one of those super ice ones, the ones that we got in Sweden. So welcome to Peter, who has joined us for the first part of the show. Hi, uh, folks. It's the summer drinks party, and Paul has got these massive chunks of ice. He's having a smashing good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yes, did you speak? Why don't you uh, hit them with something? No. Not your head. We do have a mallet that you could have used. So first up, you have got a very berry gin mix. Is that no, right? No, vodka. Oh, vodka. So this is one that you picked up from m and and it is very berry and there is cherry and raspberry flavored vodka liqueur. And you're going to mix it with a, what is this, a tonic water? So this is um, Schweppes tonic water and then I have plenty of ice. Okay, so, so let's get mixing. Is this a berry berry or mary berry? <laughs> very, very. Do I have this? you been drinking already, Paul? No, I haven't. Look, according to the book. Yes, now, Peter has got the Bible of oh. bartending here, haven't you? I, yes, I need the bar a book. shot glass. You put 25 cloves of garlic in. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no kisses after that. Yeah, well, Sorry, that was an old Paul joke, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, in my life that is, Margaret. <laughs> um, now, Paul, what are you doing behind the scenes? I'm looking for me shot glass. I thought you said shotgun then. <laughs> well, okay, so <laughs> open it up. So how much did I put in? Like about three, four maybe? Well, it depends how many drinks you're getting out of it. We're getting a lot. <laughs> Just pull the bottle in. <laughs> God, that, four? that's quite a no, lot. That'll be fine. What does it smell like? Does it smell good? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like cough medicine. Oh no. God. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he did <laughs> Okay. So then, do we pour this in too? I would think so. Yeah, you need to, or do you? Yeah. yeah. yeah pour Should it I just... in and mix it up. No, but then this is gonna, Burst you would pour the tonic in as well, no? Is it fizzy? It, it is fizzy. Well, no, oh, right, okay. So this is just to mix it up with the ice then? Yeah. You're supposed to shake the body as well, Paul. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> shake your money maker. Oh, dear, calm. I don't know how it's going to taste, but we're going to do it anyway. I think we'll have to shake after this. Yeah. Trip. Maybe we pour it in now. But don't shake it. No. Has the ice broken up? Yeah, yeah. A little bit, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So, why don't we go? We might have to add some ice to it. I thought you put the tonic in. Oh, you're doing that. Oh, right, okay. Ooh, it's fizzy. Oi! You, you wow. That's a lot of drink. You're not going to have many more, any more. Yeah, you, you might have to. Who split says that. I want? <laughs> oh, that, that last one's got nothing. You're going to have to pour some yeah, from the first three. one into the third one. No, I bet you try and do this without spilling it. This is a test, Paul. Quick. Uh, yeah. uh, you see, he's. Got a steady hand. Maybe you need a stirrer as well. It's been shaken and now it needs to be stirred. No. <laughs> I have now joined everyone here. We need to have a look at these three drinks, I think, because one might be more potent than the others. <laughs> Very fetching. Right. So pick your poison, as they say. <laughs> expensive one. Are we ready? Cheers. Happy Christmas. I mean summer. Cheers, <laughs> yes. Though so it feels like Christmas. Mm, it's a very, oh. very wet day. Oh, that's rather nice. 
Yeah. You must have got the really potent one. This is really uh -huh. nice, actually. Yeah. Mm. It's okay, too. Mm. Mm. I can taste the ra that you said raspberry, didn't you? Yeah, that's a, um, Yeah, you said cherry as well. I don't like cherry. I don't like cherry, but I can't taste the cherry. I can taste the raspberry. That is nice, actually. Mm. Have a taste of that one, see if it's any different. Or do you want some more? No. <laughs> this is the, uh, the really potent one, you think? Yeah. Let's try this. I'm gonna try mine. Oh, that is stronger, that one. Yeah. Ooh. That's nice as well. Oh dear, that is strong. Ooh. That one's all right. I think the one that I had was the nicest. <laughs> well, I think I have the nicest. Oh! <laughs> so this is the first cocktail that we are going to be having during this um, summer soiree party. More to come. many. Mm. Um, we need to put the lights off because, Paul, there's something that you forgot about here. What's that? There's a little trick that you can do with the bottle. And Peter is going to demonstrate right now. Do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Isn't there that... it is. There's a little light. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. You can see, all right, if you look from the top. Oh, wow, looks, look at oh. that. Oh, cool. Wow. That's there amazing. You go. I've got magic powers. <laughs> <laughs> we have a special guest who wants to try the drink now as well. Hello, Mui. How are you today? Do you think that you want some alcohol? <laughs> okay, let's see if you can have a little sip I'll of this. Spill that. Oh! <laughs> Too much for a Mui. <laughs> So we're having a, a rosé next, and this is from Côtes de Provence in France. Sounds familiar, Marcus? The well, Côtes Provence. de Provence is not in Lancashire. <laughs> <laughs> I think Someone they might have that. problems with the name, yeah. yeah. What does Côtes mean? Region? I don't know. Oh, it's, in a, it's the... Um, is Côte d'Azur. It, yeah, isn't the coast... Yeah, I don't know. What about that restaurant called Coat there? C O T E. I don't understand what it means. Coast. <laughs> it's a good thing to Google. Yeah. Google to... it now, Peter, and then you could tell us. Okay. Yeah. C O T E. So this is allegedly made in France and it is 12.5%. And that's pretty standard for a rose, is that right? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> what is it? 12.5? Yeah, that's about standard. C O T E. Ooh. Ooh, the pop. Coat meaning a shelter for mammals or birds, especially pigeons. Well, I <laughs> Did you do French to English translation? Because uh, that's probably just an English word. Oh, French. We. Oui. Side. Side. How can it mean side? C, C O T E S. Put the S on. Maybe it's. The to do with feminine and masculine or something. Coats. Odds. Ah. Odd bottles. Yeah, sides. So it's like the odd ends, is it? Does it mean cheap? We... No. <laughs> 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 cheers. Cheers. Ah, cheers. Happy coats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see what it's like. I do like a rosé. I like the sweet ones. This isn't sweet. You don't like? It's got a funny taste to it. Maybe no, it is an odd end. I don't think, <laughs> yeah, it's... I, I, don't think I taste anything. No, no I don't I really think, taste that I don't really taste that much. It is a dry rose, apparently. It is. So maybe, so maybe I didn't know rose came in dry. I don't know. It mm. is it tastes a bit like um, dry. <laughs> Carrots. No. Carrots, but you just eaten a carrot <laughs> over there, so maybe that's what it is. This tastes a bit weird. Oh, I know what coats mean. It's carrots. It's carrots de Provence. <laughs> 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 well, I'll help you see better. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, we may as well just polish off the bottle. 
I think we should. It says a dry rosé. Not for adults. Oh no. I don't think what? we should have gotten this one. Yeah, but from, you never know. From from Lidl. Mm. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe we should have asked um, Helen McGinn or Ollie Smith what they thought. Do it tastes drink. a bit weird. Do not drink if you if you're from Northern Ireland or America. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might say no, no. something. No, 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 no. <laughs> if it was from Northern Ireland, it would be coach the the province. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so How are you giving this. me more now? <laughs> Isn't it better to share, Peter? <laughs> Sharing is caring. Absolutely. So this Côte de Provence mm -hmm. was eight pounds, you say, at Lidl. Well, I don't think no. that's worth it. I, I don't even drink wine, but... I don't much. drink wine either, and I think this one tastes... It's pretty nondescript. Really, really... Bleh. Well, though, uh, bland? Bland. He doesn't drink wine yet. There's a wine glass in his hand. <laughs> 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 oh, who says I don't drink wine? You I, don't, I don't really drink rosé. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> so, Paul, you are making... Chicken quesadilla. So this is the mixture that oh. you had earlier. And you've got... The chicken as well. What happened? You blobbed it everywhere. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gone all half over the That'll oven. Do for me, Paul. That'll do for me. We are still waiting for our other guests to arrive. So at the moment, all the food is for Peter. <laughs> so while Paul makes the next quesadilla, Peter is going to open this bottle of white blend. Oh, New Zealand. Juicy and fruity, just like you, Peter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a screw top. <laughs> it wasn't that expensive. You're making a casa, dear. Yes. <laughs> no, he's making a casa, my dear. Okay. Well, it's very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Me casa is two, two, what is it? Two casa. Two casa. Two casa, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Oh, my house is your house. Look at that. That's balls. What? That's Paul's for what, being... Paul's house? No, this right. for being a naughty boy. Oh, right. oh, the small mind, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Just a dribble. There you go. Don't tell Paul. <laughs> Don't call Paul a dribble like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah. cheers. Let's see what this one tastes like. Cheers, Marcus. Is, is this better than the rosé? Mmm, it's got a nice nose. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's strong, this. Stronger. Oh, blimey. Uh, so this is, um, I think this is 13%. Mm. There you go. Right, so we'll take this over while Paul continues making the next quesadilla. And we shall await the arrival of our other guests. In the meantime, take a look at this. Don't get caught spying on someone's YouTube channel. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Right, Paul. Our guests, the remaining guests, have arrived. So it's time to make the other cocktail now. What do you need? We have to do a song and dance. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but feel free. Uh, I guess we're going to be using Let the... Me in. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now explain about this, Paul. Wait, we've got a selection of gin, right? Yeah. Mermaid gin, pink gin and zest gin. And this came from the Isle of Wight distillery, but we didn't actually go there. We picked it up at the... Spinnaker Tower in Southampton, right? We did. Um, so, we going so what are we going to do? We're going to be making um, these mixed drinks. Look at the giant ice. I was going to say icebergs. 
So no, you've got to choose which one to use. So which ones do we want? So there's mermaid gin. So I don't know what that is. I don't know what mermaids taste like. So there is... Um, I don't know. So we have... Um, it's all mermaid gin, right? What are you making? Mermaids. Oh, zest, pink, or just regular. Let's do the pink. Let's do the pink. The pink one. The middle one. Middle for diddle. You're not going to have enough pink in there for... One, two, three, four, five. No, pieces, I, four I think pieces. that we're going to maybe use most of them. Okay. Do you need more glasses then? So what's it called, your cocktail? It's a gin fizz. Oh, okay. Do you want another glass? Jeez. Why can't I get this up? So we've got four glasses now. Are you going to open another one of those bottles? So do we want this? <laughs> I want to get the bleeper out again. <laughs> yeah, use the zest. Okay, fine. So two of us will be pink and two of us will be zest. You'd be great on MasterChef. I'll be quiet. <laughs> How much? Oh, we've got six different glasses now. So. Another. Is that 50 glasses? Mm. Okay, so we. Mm. Be quiet. <laughs> Mm. God, there's like steam coming off that. Mm. Is there? Yeah. Mm. I'll have a small one, please. Is so it gin and tonic so far? No, it's tonic with slack. That's too much slack. tonic, I think. Too much tonic? <laughs> <laughs> this smells like zest, I have to say. Right. I don't know what zest smells like, but... It doesn't Is it smell... orangey? Okay, Paul, get into, into shot. Mm. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Non-alcoholic like non gin. Cheers. Mm. Right. Mm. Wow. Mm, nice. Mm, very refreshing. Ooh, yeah. Nice. I think it's better than all the other gins that I've tasted. Do you know what it tastes like to me? No. Nettles. Oh my god, how, when did you have nettles before? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nettles soup. Like, tastes like yeah. tonic water. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tonic water tastes like nettles, I don't know. It's not. Where, where are these from? So this is from the oh, Isle of Wight distillery. Okay. And we got them at the Spinnaker Tower in Southampton. So I think that we spent $19.95. Yeah, it's on the box. Yes. Oh, okay. No, it was... Um, yeah, I think we've got an individual one, as, that think. other one as well. Yeah. I love the bottles. They're great, they They're lovely, yeah. They're great sooty size bottles. Here I now all our guests have arrived. It's time for the big moment of the summer drinks party. Join us after the break. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. So please subscribe. Welcome to the show. We have three contestants today who will be taking part to win a fabulous prize. So let's start the show. It's Blank Stairs. So this is called Blank Stairs. And we're going to play a game today and there can only be one winner. So let's get started. These are the rules of the game. There are three contestants. Each contestant will be up against each other. So they will take turns to face each other. Each pair will receive five questions each. At the end, whoever has the most points will receive the special prize. It will become clear as we go along, I'm sure. Oh. I will be asking five questions which contain blanks. Have you watched Blanks? Each of you, or both of you in this game, 
You will write down the answer that you think should be the blank, not looking at the competitor's card. If you match, then you will score a point. So it really is up to you to both to work as a team if you want to win this. I know it sounds complicated, but I'm sure it'll work. <laughs> and you will re receive one point if you match the blank. Are you ready for the first question? So yes. we're going to write an answer down. You will write an answer down. And what is this? What are these? And if you get the point correct, you will then move one of these to the side to show that you have you have won a point. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yes, you've got five of those each. <laughs> God, sorry. Here we go with the first question. The reality TV star surprised herself by rather liking the taste of kangaroo blank. La 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 The reality TV star surprised herself by rather liking the taste of kangaroo blank. Let's see what you both put. Peter put meat and Susan put balls or testicles. Mm, perhaps that is meat, but it's not a it's not a match. Oh, we need to get something to wipe your slates as well. Why aren't your slates clean? Wipe your slates clean. I thought Kate. I thought one of them ate kangaroo balls. Yes. So, Where so what Where was the right? I don't know. Is it meat? Is it? I don't know. No, the, the adjudicator said no. For, and what about? Meat. Did meat say? Did meat get a point? No. Oh. Yeah, you have to, you have to have a point. This might not work, but we'll see. Do you think this isn't going to work? How do we work together? So you want to gain as many points because then when you're all up against each other, it should work out that someone will have more than. But do we talk to each other? No, 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 no. Oh. You just have to think. Yeah, psychic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, questions. Oh dear. Okay, you've had like a really dark brain year, darling. <laughs> so zero <laughs> points so far. Oh, for both. Excuse me. What, what's the what's the right answer? There is no right answer. Oh, okay. It's just a match. <laughs> All right. Oh. Each okay. weekend, come rain or shine, Jemima loved nothing better than riding her boyfriend's blank. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Can I? Uh, yeah, you can have it again. Can I mime or not? No, no, I don't know. You, well, I haven't is seen it anything. Is it a rhyme? Each weekend, come rain or shine. And we've had a lot of rain this weekend. <laughs> Jemima loved nothing better than riding her boyfriend's blank. Are you recording this, Paul? Uh, oh, yes, you are. Okay. Have we got answers here? Let's okay. see. Bike. Yeah. Yes. Well done! So you can move one of these to the side. You've got one point each. Wow, thank you. Okay, question number three of five. I was going to go ruder. <laughs> Green-fingered Ivy missed the annual flower show because she was too busy trimming her blank. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Green-fingered Ivy missed the annual flower show because she was too busy trimming her blank. What <laughs> could it be? Her bush. Well, we have a match. <laughs> Move one of your scorecards across. That's two each. Well done. Oh my Good God. Man. Oh my God. Question <laughs> number four. Oh, my lid's bent already. But <laughs> <laughs> you're putting too much force on them, my dear. Story of my life. <laughs> The policeman said he was pleased to see me, but I could see a blank in his pocket. La 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 la. <laughs> the policeman said he was pleased to see me, but I could see a blank in his pocket. I don't know how to spell it. Yeah. Well, we will accept any spellings. Oh, look, we've got a match. Truncheon, of course. What else will the policeman have in his pocket? I just put something in our <laughs> Your chance will come, Becky. Okay, final question for you two. My granny's eyesight is fading. I know it's very sad. Now, when she puts lipstick on, 
it ends up on her blank. La 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 la. I shall repeat that. My granny's eyesight is fading. Now when she puts lipstick on, it ends up on her blank. Well, right, right, what have we got? Nose. No, well done. I was going to put... Um, no, we might have to believe that, Peter. <laughs> right. So you have scored four points each. Yeah. Right. I got another one. Okay. Keep a record of this, Paul. Paul? So, <laughs> you're Paul, right? So Susan is on four and Peter is on four. Woo! Form or right. four? I'm on four, I think, as well. Okay. No, Rebecca. Now, who is going to replace one of the contestants for the next round? Okay. Rebecca. Okay. Come, come, come. Oh, okay. Okay, so now set your your um, pointer cards back to zero. Yes, you've done that. Yep. And here we are with the next round. It's Becky and Susan this time. <laughs> okay, here we go. First question. When my friend played a donkey in the nativity, everyone said he acted like a total blank. Oh. La, 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 <laughs> la, 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 la. So when my friend played a donkey in the nativity, everyone said he acted like a total... Ass. Ass, yes. One point each. I was going to say dick. Never knew <laughs> <any> dicks <laughs> ass. And that's your problem. Oh, the next question is very specific for Summer. Oh. The tennis ace had reached breaking point. She had hoped to smash the game, but instead she smashed... The blank. La 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 la. The tennis ace had reached breaking point. Yeah, she was absolutely fed up with the status of the match. She had hoped to smash the game, but instead she smashed the blank. What have we got? I haven't got anything yet. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, we'll have to time you out. Three, two, one. Racket. Oh, well done. Another point each. Okay. I'm doing very well. Question number three. <laughs> I struggle to lick envelopes, so I normally use a dollop of blank for the job. La, 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 la. <laughs> I struggle to lick envelopes. I've got hardly any saliva. I don't think we've done it this time. No? So I normally use a dollop of... Oh, no, 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 it's, no. No, it's not a no, match. No, so no match there. Oh, we we'll continue to the next question. Work <laughs> oh, dear. You've got to use some spit on it. <laughs> next question. I went to a clairvoyant, yes, it's true, who told me she could see a huge blank in my future. <laughs> la, 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 la. I went to a clairvoyant who told me she could see a huge blank in my future. Five, four, three, two, one. What have we got? A hole. <laughs> a fortune. No, oh, we've got no blank there. And yeah. a, a no I would match have said there. a hole as well, actually. I would have said that. Oh. Right. This is question number four, I think. Yeah. The runner had read that he should eat baked beans before his 10k. Sadly, they made him blank. La 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 la. <laughs> this pen doesn't work anymore. Oh no. You're too butch with it. Anyway, I think you can read it. I think we have an, an alternative <laughs> pen. Let's see if we have an extra one here. Did you put, oh, you went for the absolute word. <laughs> you know what? You baked might beans. just have to use a bit of paper instead and mind. keep using it. Baked beans, only one word comes to mind. Well, precisely, you're right. I should have said. I think you I might just it. have to use that instead. Okay. And what have we got? Oh, fart and windy. I don't think we can accept that. Oh. It's not a match. Oh. No, 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 the adjudicator right. says no. Right. Okay. Was that the last one? There's one more question. Ah. One more to come. Mm. Two points each at the moment. Okay, here we go. Biscuits are divisive. My cousin loves a digestive. My uncle loves a chocolate finger, but I prefer a blank. <laughs> la 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 la
biscuits are divisive, my cousin loves a digestive, my uncle a chocolate finger, but I love to get my chops round a... Oh, both very good <laughs> answers, but they're not a match. So at the end of that round, it's it two. is two points. And that means that Susan is on six yeah. and Becky is on two. two. Wow. And, and the final round is Becky against Peter. Nice. I could still win. Let's see what you could here. still win. Hopefully we're going to have a winner in this bizarre format. It's going to work. I've lost my pen. Oh, there you go. You can just write on that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. At the cheese factory, Mr. Lester was the grand fromage, Mrs. Bree was his assistant, and Miss Blank the apprentice. La 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 la. <laughs> At the cheese factory, Mr. Lester was the grand fromage, the big cheese. Mrs. Bree was his assistant, and Miss Blank was the apprentice. Cheddar from Peter. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> Zero there. You can tell your Zero there. <laughs> okay, question number two. I never understand why, but people often laugh at my pet Shih Tzu's name. She's called Blank. La, 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 la. I'll give that one to you again. I never understand why, but people often laugh at my pet Shih Tzu's name. She's called <laughs> Blank. What have we got here? Oh, we don't have a match. No, sadly not. Wait a minute, is there something up with the scores here? Oh, sorry. No, 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 that looks like cheating yeah. right here. <laughs> We didn't get any on the first one either, did no. we? No. So it's zero so far. Question number three. Guy always makes sure bonfire night goes off with a bang, especially when he lights his blank. La 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 la. Guy, Guy Fox perhaps, always makes sure bonfire night goes off with a bang, especially when he lights his blank. <laughs> Peter, you're chucking it away. Are you recording this, Paul? Yeah. yeah, yeah. His bomb. His rocket. Oh, no. I'm afraid I can't accept that. No score so far here. Wow. I mean, Susan. There are two questions yeah. left. And at the moment, Susan is on six, Peter is on four, and Becky is on two. So, Peter, the. Absolute stress at the moment is on you because you must get the next two right to tie with Susan and result in a tie-break question. Okay, so you've got to get this next one right, otherwise the game is over. Whenever the painters and decorators are in, oh this is right up your street Peter because you're having a house decorator, right? My cousin wisely makes sure she wears a blank. Whenever the painters and decorators are in, my cousin wisely makes sure she wears a blank. La 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 So it's dusty in there. La 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 a bit of a clue. La 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 A mask. What was that? A dust chip Oh Well, I'm afraid. That, uh, that there's no way that Susan can be beaten. So Susan is our winner. You're a winner, baby. <laughs> there is a prize. Now, Susan, you must join me here because this is the very first ever episode of Blank Stairs. Or should it be Blank Stairs behind me? No. Congratulations, you are a winner, Susan. Thank you. Thank and you receive this lovely prize. Oh. Well done. You love me. You really love me. Oh, yes. <laughs> and if you'd like to join me now, there's only one thing left to say. Subscribe. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's episode, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment, but especially, <coughs> I'm losing my voice, please subscribe. Ding! <laughs> <laughs>
And if you're feeling especially generous, you might like to buy us, buy a, us coffee. a coffee to help us along our way as we do these episodes. But from all of us here and our summer drinks party, even though the weather has been rather nasty today, that's why we're inside. We'll see you <laughs> next time. Bye!